down there in Columbus. It does help that that game's at home for Ohio State. How about Notre Dame, though, you guys? We had talked a lot about what this would be for them if they were able to beat Stanford. And at this point, behind Ian Book's four touchdowns, they did that. They did it in dominant fashion. So do we think when you see the rankings right here, that Notre Dame is in prime position for the playoff. First of all, we'll show you right where they are. They are at the number six spot there, and these rankings are our college football rankings presented by Goodyear. They moved up to number six. So, Joey, you said last week that winning out wasn't enough for Notre Dame to make the playoff. Do you still feel that way? The way they've looked in the past two weeks with Ian Book at quarterback, I think they run the schedule. Now, with that being said, and it, it is, it's hard to wrap your brain around the idea that Notre Dame could go undefeated and not get in, I still think they need a little help. And if you look at the, the teams ahead of them and you look at the team behind them that is scary is Oklahoma. Oklahoma looks really good. So let's just say you put in Ohio State and Alabama and Clemson, and then you get down to a Notre Dame team that has run the table and an Oklahoma team that has also run the table, and they have not taken one step back without Baker Mayfield, that is going to be a conversation. You look at Notre Dame's schedule, not a lot of big boys left on that schedule. They got Virginia Tech on the road this week. And then after that, when you look, I mean, Florida State's not Florida State that we expected them to be. Uh, USC, who are they? Northwest, I mean, there's nothing scary on that schedule. They may need some help even if they go undefeated. If they went out, they're going to be in the college football playoff. Because I look at Oklahoma and as good as they are, they are outstanding, by the way. i just still not convinced that they're going to be 13-0. I look at the Big Ten or the SEC. Alabama and Georgia are both legit. They're going to play each other eventually. They can't be undefeated. Clemson certainly looks human based on the way they played this past week. I just can't forecast a situation in which there's six teams in college football that are potentially undefeated or five teams if you take into account that Georgia and Alabama appear to be on a collision course. So uh, I'm, I'm still feeling really confident about Notre Dame, but what would would be fascinating if, for instance, if Notre Dame were to lose a game on the road this week at Virginia Tech might be the toughest game remaining. We've seen teams at 11 to 1 right on the outside looking in. Remember 2014 when both Baylor and TCU were 11 to 1, really convincing performances, really looked the part, and yet they were left out in favor of an Ohio State team that just dominated Wisconsin and won the Big Ten championship. So that 13th data point, remember that? Word that we use, that 13th data point, will that be a factor for Notre Dame? But uh, I feel very confident that if they're 12-0, and 0, they'll be in. But if they're 11-1, and 1, they're going to need a lot of help from the other Power 5 champions. Greg, I think we're saying the same thing because in your analysis, you counted that Oklahoma will lose a game or that Alabama-Georgia will lose a game or right. that maybe an Ohio State will lose a game. And so I was thinking if everybody wins out, they need help. But I think we're saying the same thing. You're saying that someone is going to lose. I'm saying they won't win out. And so win they out. went out. <laughs> yeah, ex exact, exactly. So you're right. They so, need help. Yeah. They need help. But that help is inevitable because we are going to there see go. some serious, serious issues at some point in the next seven weeks for some of the teams we just listed. So we agree. Yeah, I think the the <laughs> real yeah, you guys don't actually agree. You just want to pretend like you don't agree. But anyway, yeah, so the real I disagree, issue is going to be but we agree. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever this committee is faced with, potentially two teams from the same conference or like a Notre Dame that doesn't have a conference championship. You mentioned that 13th data point. I imagine there will be some Mondays coming up throughout this college football season that we will be discussing that plenty more. But a lot more to come on 